So you people knew about the investigation and the 52 billion naira scam and you all kept quiet since. You are all accomplices. Buhari government is the most corrupt government. He brainwashed Nigerians that he is going to fight corruption, but he is incompetent and the worst ever. Kayabo is one of the biggest criminals in APC today. That is why they are fighting to retain power for covers of their evil. Also, APC is a symbol of corruption and no ruling party has exhibited the level of corruption that has been going on under the present APC government. Well, as you all know, APC is a safe haven for thieves. Who cares? Once they steal public funds, they run to APC and they are covered. It's a shame to be called a Nigerian when you are living abroad. Good day everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice, where we hold leadership accountable for their gross misconduct and we will not trade the right to press freedom and the free speech for a piece of cake. Here we also bring you headline latest news in both in business and politics, including opinions to you in the blink of an eye. If this is your first time coming across this channel, please do well to like, share, and subscribe so that the good Lord will be blessing you. Reading from our news desk today, Mr. Frank Shaibu, Special Assistant on Public Communications to the Presidential Candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has called on the National Assembly to publish reports of its investigation on the 52 billion Naira Special Works pro Program implemented by the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Mr. Festus Keyamo. Shaibu said this in a statement while reacting to Keyamo's acquisition of a house in the United States of America at the cost of over $300,000. $300,000. Okay, yeah, you go talk where you for the work. You go talk how much with your salary for you to feel acquire this kind of property. Going forward, recall that in 2021, the federal government had in a bit to ameliorate the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic approved the sum of 52 billion era for the hiring of 774 Nigerians across all the local government areas in the country for three months. The 774 Nigerians were hired to take on many jobs such as cleaning of drainages, sweeping of markets, cutting grasses, and other community services. Keyamo was said to have specifically orchestrated the sacking of the Director General of the National Directorate of Employment, Nasiru Arugungu, insisting that he was in charge of the 52 billion Naira project, which the National Assembly noted was a flop. Both the Senate and the House of Representatives had stated that many of the beneficiaries of the funds did not get anything, while others who got did not do any job. They therefore questioned Kayamo's running of the program and promised to launch an investigation into the matter. Then, reacting to Kayamo's claim, that he owns several houses in the U.S. Shaibu said the National Assembly had described the Special Works Program as a sham and also questioned how the funds were spent. Keamo had 
for the last two years defended the shambolic implementation of the program with his open confessions that he has acquired houses in the U.S. I hereby call on the National Assembly to publish its reports on the fair project. I also call on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to immediately probe the finances of Festus Keyamo, who only become a senior advocate two years before becoming a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is public record that Keyamo was an activist and a prosecutor for the EFCC, doing most pro bono cases before taking public office. However, he now boasts of being a real estate mogul after becoming a minister. This is laughable and an insult to the sensibilities of Nigeria. In any case, Kiyamo's time as Minister of State for Labor and Employment witnessed the highest level of unemployment, which the KPMG says is about to hit 40%. Under Kiyamo, universities also witnessed prolonged strikes as ASU proceeded on 10-month strike in 2020 and 8 months industrial action in 2021. Kiyamo clearly failed as a minister but grew where they are in the process through his so-called real estate business. It does need to be investigated with immediate effect, which is ongoing. Kiyamo had said that by letters dated March 6, 2019, before he was appointed a minister, he wrote to the relevant government agencies informing them of the closure of his foreign accounts and the repatriation of his funds for the country since Nigeria law does not allow public officials to operate foreign bank accounts. He further stated, my assets declaration is there for all to see. Some of us don't need government funds or patronage to get by. Whatever we do and whatsoever we support is out of our deep convictions. Reacting, however, Shaibu dared Kiyamo to publish his asset declaration form as submitted to the Code of Conduct Bureau in 2019. He said, since Kiyamo has boasted many times about being an EFCC prosecutor and an anti-corruption champion, he ought to be bold enough to make his asset declaration forms public to prove that he was telling truth. Shaibu said, Kiyamo has one mouth left on his tenure as minister, which means he will need to declare his asset before the CCB next month. Let him make public his asset declaration forms before and after office to prove to Nigerians that he did not steal. My country people, Festus Kayamu, a big thief. Now, please don't blow. How will you open? All this one will make bad sense now to cover in trace so that Tinubu no go question them. Not go ask for the money if it's too billion when he chop. But the way he be now, so he be like say, what I don't pass Gary for inside. The door they ask him. So now the heat is on. Our comment session day open for now to chuck my for this matter. Make we hear on our thoughts on this matter where they go on. So make we know what you want think whether this thing is a good thing or a bad thing. I go see you now for my next video. But until then. Make sure stay blessed, stay out of trouble, and be thankful to God. Bye-bye.